Hello, learners. How are you? I hope you are well. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Thanks a lot to Almighty Allah that He keeps us safe and sound from COVID-19 coronavirus. However, dear students, welcome to my online class. I am Mohd Shazid Bhuya, assistant teacher in English, Kolobi Mazidul Islam Model High School, Kolobi Mirpur Dhaka. Dear students, I am going to discuss from English for class 9 and 10. Dear learners, there are some images, read them and try to guess what they indicate. There are students, what you see, yes, the is of both. Well done. Learners, you see, oh yes, the image of internet and computer or laptop. Very good. Dear learners, what you see here, oh yes, image of an online class. Very good. Dear students, what you see, oh yes, is related to e-learning or electronic learning. Very good. So dear learners, on your guess and imagination, our topic is learning or electronic learning unit 13 lesson 3. Learning outcomes end of the lesson, the students will be able to describe and understand the text. So reading in far meaning from the text, choose the best answers, complete sentences with parts or phrases, see in the gaps with appropriate words, and finally ask. And answer questions. The learners, professors, and make a difference between two pictures. When you see on the left, yes, it is the image of traditional classroom. Very good. What you see on the right, yes, is the image of e classroom or electronic classroom. Actually, there is a vast difference between a traditional classroom and an e classroom or electronic classroom. Very good. They are learners. Let's have the questions in yes or no. Have you ever experienced the digital education programs in multimedia or CD or DVD? Oh yes, why not? Dear learners, have you ever used any digitized educational resources such as dictionary, Wikipedia, or Wikipedia? Oh yes. Thank you very much. Dear students, have you ever heard of any online education course? Oh, yes. Well done. Of learners, have you ever seen a classroom 
fixing program on TV. Definitely, very good. Okay, dear learners, sorry, test. There are some new words in the text. But the new word thrilled means excited or delighted or pleasurable. Another new word, virtual, means need to appear to exist by the use of computer software. Another new word, evolutionist, means one who burst efforts of education. Another new word, digitalize, means change data into digital form. Another new word, utilize, means take practical use of something. Another new word, access, means the right to enter. Another new word, generation, means people of the same age. Another new word, evolve, means love casually. Another new word, process, means alert or wasp. Another new word, attendance, means presence. And a new word, digitize, in change data into digital form. Another new word, blend, means unify or mingle. Another new word, component, means module or section or element. Another new word, is means stays. Another new word, framework, means structure. Another new word, pandit, means scholar. Public learners, our vocabulary test, let us go through the passes. Students, school book, and open unit 13, lesson 3. Of learners is the text. I read. Here I am reading the text sent to me attentively, and I think it will be helpful for you to understand the text. Answer are different types of questions. Here I am reading. Can you think of a classroom where there is no blackboard or text? Students think about a classroom, and I think your thought is related to blackboard or desk or whiteboard. Do you believe that you can be a student without a traditional book or writing pad or even pen or pencil? Are you not thrilled? Imagine that you have asked a question and your tutor is answering it while flying in a wing from Dubai to Dhaka. Learners, these are all possible in a virtual campus system of learning. No kidding. For quite a long time, educationists have been utilizing the advantages of computer technology. 
this technology this system have been using by the evolutionists so computer technology social networking services use potential to help educationists in this sector the social networking services have a large possibility to assist the educationists this field they have access billions of people worldwide learners educationists have noticed that a large number of social network users come from young generation who officially belong to student community actually the educationists persons related to education have found that a big number of social network users or the people who uses come from young generation particularly they are belong to student community so side by side are assisted teaching learning software online education programs are improving fairly rapidly to assist conventional education system but is that e learning we may confuse distant education or computer based learning on computer assisted training or even online education programs learning but we should be cautious about the mix up we should be careful alert about the mix up maybe you get some materials online from your tutor maybe you submit your assignment so email or even you may take your test online but there must be some conventional campus department or an institute from where your certificate may come meaningful e learning but in e learning but in e learning as said by google e learning guru every step success registration administration classroom entry and exit classwork attendance discussion with course mates feedback exams and finally certification must take place electronically through computer and the internet technology in a virtual campus the revolutionary concept of e learning is already in its practice phase in many parts of the world the radical idea of e learning is already in its practice stage in many parts of the world professor khan has developed a framework an important literature on e learning which have been praised by pundits worldwide in bangladesh professor khan is especially enthusiastic professor khan is particularly eager about the prospect of e learning in bangladesh how would you feel if bangladesh contemplates south asia's first virtual university 
only a pioneering step for us in the world of learning. Won't it be a heralding step for us in the world of e-learning? Let's put our fingers first. Dr. Bodrul Ais Khan, born and graduated in Bangladesh. Ais Khan was a professor at the George Washington University and the University of Texas, USA. He is one of the celebrated theorists in the field of e-learning or electronic learning. They are students. It's time for evaluation. So learners, I'm going to evaluate you through group works. For evaluation, they are learners. I'm dividing you into three groups. Learners come to group. A, you have to choose the best answer from the alternatives. And question number one, distant education will be possible with this. Option A, learning. Option B, email. Option C, e-commerce. Option D, computer. Question number two, the assignment may be submitted through DASH. Option A, e-learning. Option B, e-commerce. Option C, email. Option D, time. Question number three, what has Professor Khan developed? Option A, internet. Option B, a framework. Option C, email. Option D, computer. Question number four, Professor Khan is enthusiastic about the prospect of Dash in Bangladesh. Option A, internet. Option B, email. Option C, e-learning. Option D, computer. Question number five, Dash will establish the region's first personal university. Option A, Pakistan. Option B, Bangladesh. Option C, the USA. Option D, the UK. Runners, go to group A, check your answers. What the possible answers are? Question number one for A, learning. Question number two for C, email. Question number three for B, a framework. Question number four for C, learning. Question number five for B, Bangladesh. Learners, from group B, you have to fill in the gaps with appropriate words. And the question is, question is, have that a dash that a large number of social network gap b dash come from young generation gap c dash especially belong to student gap d dash so online education programs are gap e dash fairly rapidly to assist conventional education system Runners of group B, take your answers. And the possible answers are get a noticed, get B users, get C who, get B community, get B evolving. Students belong to group C, you have to complete the following sentences. 
it could you do words, a phrase. And question number one, education experts best utilizing the advantages of computer technology as a long time. Question number two, in learning everything from admission to certification must yes, electronically through computer and the internet technology in a virtual campus. Question number three, in some online courses to test to test online. Question number four, in case of online programs, there is some conventional campus somewhere this. Question number five, in learning all activities as by a system called Learning Management System or LMS. Learners, thank you for answers. Possible answer is question number one, have been. Question number two, four. Question number three, be done. Question number four, may take. Question number five, must be. Question number six, your certificate will come. Question number seven are conducted. They are students are evaluation. It is time for homework. So please be ready with your writing materials and papers and write down the following questions and try to answer them. Early. Dear learners, question number A, why are online education programs improving rapidly? Question number B, how can educationists help world people utilizing the advantages of Question number C, why doesn't a pupil need traditional materials learning. Question number D, how does online education help a student? Question number E, what is Professor Khan enthusiastic about? Dear learners, very much for joining with me. I will take up any other class on any other day. Till then, stay home and stay safe from COVID-19 coronavirus. Hi learners, this is okay. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.